What's up, everybody? It's Tuesday morning. Got a 9 a.m. class getting after it behind me. They just finished up their Movement of the Month test. I just want to come to you and talk to you a little bit about our Movement of the Month. Our Movement of the Month is a back rack reverse lunge, two rep max. I'm trying to be proactive here in um, alleviating some things that I foresee happening. Uh, I would like to talk about um, just control and stability in the reverse lunge because what I can foresee happening is a lot of people wanting to abandon the movement of the month because it says that it's causing them knee pain. Um, I don't want to do lunges, they hurt my knees. I don't think it's the lunge that is hurting the knee. It's my lack of ability to control my body in a single leg movement and have stability in a single leg movement um, through an entire range of motion. In the reverse lunge, I don't often travel to that range of motion, so it's a new range of motion for my body. Um, and then sometimes I lack the control and stability to do it properly. So what I wanna show you is an improper rep and then a proper rep. So if I'm here about to do my reverse lunge, and I step back and come down, and let my knee pass, I if I step back and come down and can't control it and let my knee crash, that is going to lead to knee pain. Versus, being able to step back and control myself on the way down. So what I've done is I've come up with my three top exercises that I think help alleviate um, knee pain. They help you to gain more control and stability for knees um, and will help you rehab them, prehab them, give you stability, give you control, give you strength in your knees for this entire movement of the month. And I've shortened it down to just an eight to 10 minute warm up or cool down that you can do every day before we do lunges. So check it out. Full range of motion lunge would be the first exercise. Our goal is to lay the back of our leg onto our heel and get as deep as you can in the lunge. Most of you are gonna to have to elevate your front foot like I did in this video. The goal would be to get to a point where you don't have to elevate your front foot. Reverse sled drag is the second exercise. Uh, the goal here is just to walk backwards at a steady pace for 100 feet. Um, as far as weight for the reverse sled drag, I would put 50% of my one rep max back squat on the sled. Heel taps are the last one. I have two 45 pound plates stacked up at the 25 pound plate. I put the middle of my foot in the middle of the plate and I just tap my heel. I don't wanna lose control on the bottom and slam down on the bottom. I wanna be able to tap lightly. If this is too hard, what you can do is grab a PVC pipe to support yourself and move my foot down so my toe is at the edge of the plate. That should take away um, like some of the stability issues if you're having them, but that's a good way to scale the movement.